how was Bilpin firstly impacted by the recent floods? Well, the whole area was cut off for a week, uh, Danica. The um, North Richmond Bridge and the Windsor Bridge was flooded and then east, uh, west of Bilpin, Bell's Line of Road suffered a, a landslide and that's blocked that road for through traffic going, uh, going west. Uh, the floods have now receded, the bridges are open, but the road remains closed from Mantoma to the west of, Brisbane, uh, uh, of Bilpin for traffic that is traveling out uh, to Lithgow or um, further west. So that's going to be <coughs> quite a concern for us over Easter. And put that into perspective for us, because there are a number of businesses along the Bells Line of Road in Bilpin, including your own, uh, but people are just simply not visiting the area right now. Yes, well, we, we're hoping that uh, we will be a, a destination venue this Easter, uh, but it's been certainly very quiet for the last 10, uh, 10 days or so since, uh, since the floods. Uh, and, uh, you know, businesses that... Uh, rely on Easter. Easter is our biggest period. It always has been. And uh, whether it's the Fruit Bowl or Bilpin Cider Co Company, uh, the area is uh, relies on this four days. Uh, it's a significant portion of our, of our business. So now we're hoping that people will come up to the area in spite of the fact that it might they might not be traveling further west, but they'll still come for a destination. So we, we do urge um, people over Easter to come up. It's a beautiful part of the world. Uh, we've got, um, you know, we're smack bang in the heart of the Blue Mountains and we're an hour and 30 minutes from the, the CBD of Sydney. It is such a beautiful part of New South Wales uh, out that way. Uh, Sean, uh, you, you mentioned that, you know, Easter is your busiest time of the year right now, but given that you're finding that trading is quite down, how big are the losses so far? Well, the last since since the rains, uh, my personal business has been off by about uh, I'd say ninety percent. So uh, we hope we we hope that today, tomorrow, <laughs> Easter Sunday, and and Monday uh, doesn't reflect that. So we're really hoping that people get out and about and come up and, and, and visit us during like they would have in the past. Regar we're, we're still going to miss that traffic that's moving west and then coming back from the west. And, and that, that's quite a severe roadblock and that will, could be out for six months. So it's been a very tired time for us, I think, from uh, droughts where we had our uh, apple crop was, was halved, then we had the bushfires, uh, then we had the uh, COVID, and now, uh, and, and our big, big, biggest trading week when we were saying, "Wow, we're back," we've lost, um, we've lost uh, the area as a route through the Blue Mountains and into the west of uh, New South Wales. Do you feel almost like Sean, you you haven't been able to catch a break, uh, as you mentioned? There's been so many incidents in the last 12 to 18 months. How is the recovery going? Well, it's been a trying time. I think we were all quite excited about the future, and we still are. Uh, but it, this this flood came along and just, uh, well, I think it's left us all a little bit stunned, to be honest. Uh, yesterday, I was talking with Margaret Tadrasa, and it was, how's the weekend going? Uh, she's from the Fruit Bowl, and it was, how's the weekend going to be? We just don't know. Uh, we, we We're sure it's not going to be what it was two years ago. We didn't have uh, Easter last year. That was cancelled uh, uh, or, you know, the, as a result of COVID. So now we're facing two, uh, another year in our busiest trading week. But uh, there are challenges we all have to face up with and, you know, just keep on plugging away. And, and if you have a great offering, I think Bilp and Cider Company is a great offering, uh, beautiful grounds, uh, we'll keep on encouraging the, the consumers to come. So mm. we we want them out there in their droves. Absolutely. Just finally, can you tell us how can people access that Bilpin area right now? Well, it's accessible on Bell's Line of Road through Richmond and uh, into North Richmond, across the North Richmond Bridge. And it's um, 
uh, accessible also uh, on through the through the Windsor Bridge. So uh, we are now it's it the area is accessible. We just like people to um, say, yeah, okay, yeah. the floods are over. Um, let's go to Bilpin like we would have. Uh, prior to last week. Absolutely. It's such a beautiful part of New South Wales and fingers crossed the tourists come back as soon as possible. Sean Prendergast, thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you, Danica.